Thank you for joining us. In this video, we'll be looking at how to set up the, the VACOS cam security camera, wireless, totally wireless, wireless security camera on the network at home. So you start by pressing the power button here. But before you do that, you will need to download the VACOS app for your phone and have a and sign up for a VACOS account as part of the sign up you would already have, um, you would have to then put in a phone number or a valid email account. A PIN code will then be sent to either the phone or the email account for you to complete the registration. And once you are registered, you will be greeted with this um, welcome page. Press the power button on your device briefly and wait for the prompt, voice prompt. Welcome and thanks for choosing camera. Initializing camera, please wait. Waiting for setup. So it is now in um, setup mode. On the phone, on the app itself, click add device and then choose the first option, which is a battery camera. Now we've some of the instructions on the screen that says you need to um, push the power button and confirm that you've read, you've hold the, you've got the message. So I'm going to do that. Confirm that I've heard the message, and I'm going to press go. This next screen requires you to put your password in. So I'm going to do that now off screen, and I'll be back. So I've inserted the password um, into the password field, and I know this is the correct 2.4G network that I'm connecting to. So then click next. It then presents you with this QR code, which you're supposed to place 15 to 25 centimeter in front of the camera. So we'll do that now. Yep, you hear Connecting Wi-Fi. So you've heard that chime and it says it is connecting to the Wi-Fi. So that's good news. So also you get a confirmation on the phone that says scanning is successful. So we click on that. And what it's doing now is saying that it is trying to connect to the, uh, to the device itself. So from the phone, it's trying to connect to the camera. So if the camera is already successfully on a network, we should be picking this up um, in a short while. Now the device, the camera has just said that it is now online. So we have successfully connected. If you are faced with difficulty connecting, my advice to you is to push and hold that button for three seconds so that it resets and try again. But do make sure that both the, the Wi-Fi that your phone is connecting to is the home Wi-Fi uh, the, in the one intended for the camera, the same network, and it needs to be 2.4G. Also, the password needs to be number and alphabet. I don't think it supports um, special symbols and that it is WPA uh, encryption. So now what it's asking for is to name the device. So you get to decide where this camera is going to. So in my, for my purpose, it's going to the yard. So we'll go with the yard and uh, an okay. And the camera has been added successfully. So quite quick, uh, very quickly, they chose a live button. So I'm going to pr press that button. It says a new, because this camera has been set up the first, for the first time, it's asking um, for the version, the ROM version or the firmware version to be updated, as you can see here. So I'm just going to go quickly and update this. and then click update to confirm that I am updating. So in here, it says that there's improved setup experience uh, for the device and it will optimize the network connection, which is always good, uh, making it faster. It fixes some cloud recording feature um, and it also optimizes the speed of accessing uh, the EMMC, which is the local storage. So all good news, Fix it also fixes other bugs. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this update so it now says during, upgrading device. Please do not cut off power. So do not switch off the power to the device, which 
obviously it's not connected to the mains or anything and the battery is fully charged so that should be sufficient to update the camera device upgrade succeeded right it's now said that the upgrade has um, succeeded has completed so um, the camera should be ready now on the app itself i'm just going to go back on the screen to check out the main screen and there you have it it is now showing um refreshing and showing the live view of the camera which i'm just going to do quickly so we've now um, successfully created the connection for the camera we've set up the camera and it's re in recording mode all we need to do now is to demo a live view on the device so if i click on the Varkos camera on that device itself it is connecting and it's now successfully connected so it's now streaming um, live stream to the device as you can see so in here i'm actually moving my finger in front of the camera um, and the camera is recording live um, there are other features here you can take a snapshot um, you can also do a two-way conversation which we won't do on this video because there'll be a lot of feedback and um, you can look at all the local recordings on here as well um, um, or you can sign up for cloud storage um, on here uh, or you can share this video clip um, or you can view on a full screen mode so once you enter full screen mode this is what you get so basically what we've done is um, we've connected the camera uh, successfully and it is now working and it's all networked up all connected successfully mm. it does take a, a bit to get the connection up it was on my second attempt that i got the live feed i did not get it the first time so it's worth um, noting when you are doing the same on your um, camera that um, you may need to persist and try again if it's not working for you the first time and that's it for the setup of the Vakos camera thank you for watching